Welcome back. This is Shadow Coast with Shadow Coast Gaming, and we are playing BattleTech Iron Man Impossible Mode. We are playing the priority mission in liberating Weldry. I do apologize. Unfortunately, I had a leak in the bathroom that I had to immediately resolve. Although, I guess I'll, I'm kind of waiting until tomorrow to actually fix it, but turn the water off. Such is life. No pain in the rear. Target building. We are continuing this priority mission. So if you're looking for the first part, please refer to part one, as this is part two. And hopefully nothing else pops up between uh, <laughs> now and the end of the mission. And if something does, then this will be part two or three. But I do believe that I can uh, complete it, or at least I hope, in this part. Now, Shadow Coast did take some damage. His left arm is extremely vulnerable. Good We're guy. tired of replacing parts on the uh, <laughs> blackjack, so my hope is I can keep him safe. And not have to worry about it. Okay. So my hope is all these turrets, yes, blow up. And I think it was like, I think two of them were for these two, which probably didn't need anything. Um, Alright, so we're going to come over here and go through this gate. But we're gonna do something kind of, I guess. Receiving it. I don't want to call it cheesing the computer, but we're gonna play a little dirty from the standpoint that we are going to leverage our long range. Standing by. Our long range missiles, or whatever is left of them. Now, unfortunately, I did a poor job in outfitting both the Centurion as well as the Shadow Hawk, as they really need two LRM ammos to make them viable for longer battles, especially those that are priority missions. I'm saving ammo now. Shadow Ghost will run up and knock this door down. Engaging target. Alright, we've blown target through the wall. Destroyed. Let's liberate this prison yes. camp. So, we're happy to check down, embrace, Good to go. same with glitch, get, get you closer, and Decker, our scout, yes, we'll commander. take the Vindy. And see what happens when he runs in there. Orders. Excellent work, Commander. The prison is ours. All directorate personnel to action stations. God damn it, this is not a drill. Looks like you got more company. I'm seeing heat signatures coming online in the prison mech bay. The ward must have held a lance in reserve. Sit tight, Commander. Lady Arano is aware of the situation. Reinforcements are on the way. Alright, great. One mech. Hmm. I want 
gonna say we are going to keep max range, but we also want to be in range to hit them. And I just want to ensure that we are in that range to hit them. Another mech. Holding for the right opportunity. Centurion. Oof. Ow. All right, you jerk. Catapult. Reporting. Heavy damage. Orders. All right, so we are going to jump. Oh, we have like a lot of leeway. Look at him. He goes over the wall. It's his sayonara sucker. No. So we are gonna make them come through here until those reinforcements arrive. Ready for orders. Moving to position. This is where I really wish I had more. LRM ammo, so we could just keep putting damage on him. And there's no way I'm putting Shadow Coast in there, so he's just hiding behind everybody else. We got company. Where are these reinforcements? I don't have to run in there to get them. Good to go. Now the challenge we have is they're going to be, yeah they're going to brace, okay so they're four, we want to kind of hit them through these doors. I think I want to waste stellar ammo on a brace target. Commander. Because, quite frankly, we're going to need as much damage output as possible for these guys. For the Oregon people! Oh. Is that Lady Arano? Oh, yeah, I forgot. That's Lady Arano. Alright, so... Now let's see... She's running in from behind him, which is nice. So she can hopefully do some work on these two while we take on two. Although they seem deeply intent on coming after me. So 
so Engaging jump jets. We're playing chicken with them. And really the objective here is to get 5v4 because if Kamea can hit him in the back and actually take one or two out, that would be fantastic. Again, we are playing Iron Man mode, impossible mode. So a single mistake will be very costly. So we're going to try to mitigate those mistakes. Alright, so we got a Jenner. some other M's that way. Nice. Not much armor left in that location. Ready for orders. Alright, so we are going to actually jump here and line of sight these guys but we will put some damage on Got this it. guy and I kind of want him to come out and then we'll pop back in and Kamea can help us you know what I Really, yeah, that's much better. Engaging we have a giant wall in front of us. Shadow Coast is injured, so. Waiting for orders. Tactical error. I should move Shadow Coast after. Copy that. Real missed opportunity. Now let's see who they go for here. And that's going to really determine how we handle this. It seems like they're very intent on one particular Of this guy. Not one bit. Solid connection on that one. Commander? Just speeding him up one at a time. Nice. And you, we can't let this prison fall. Waiting for orders. So, lifting off. Let's see where these guys go next. 
I guess this is a good learning that I wonder if they just pick one mech and go for it. And that's their strategy. That's the case. If you figure it out, you can kite them around until Kamea can come up and hit them from behind. Oh. Uh, I going for? I'm sure Kamea survives, so... Looks like they adapt their tactics a little bit. Trebuchet, Centurion. Because they're fairly weak, so their back armor is standing uh, by. Exposed. I don't think you can really get an angle there. But you can. Commander. Target lock on enemy six. Shadow Coast is coming in here embracing. So let's see. Kamea's coming in. Alright, the Centurion's turning around. He is going for our Vindicator Decker. Internal structure damage. Waiting for orders. Now the hope is we can severely damage this Jaeger mech. Seriously? Didn't blow his torso off. Ow. Good to go. Firing a full salvo. Like I'm out of LRN. Yeah, that that. We knew that was happening quick. Oof. Nope, nope. Are you CT'd? You are CT'd, my friend. You get to go here and Engaging lob some missiles because if you lose that center torso on this game mode, it's gone for good. So we, uh, so the right arm, so we're going to present our left arm, oh wait, shit, I screwed up, that's a costlier, that's a very costlier,
Okay, so I can I can jump down here and be safe. I think what we're gonna do now Kamea's coming around. Lost an arm. Leave me alone. Ow. All right, so we're gonna need Camille to do some tanking here because we are simply taking. Too much damage, so we lost a medium laser, which is not ideal. Now is it the left arm? Yeah. Basically you wanna ensure the left arm takes all the damage. But firing. Ah. Alright, well heavy damage. I'll take it over nothing. No, I'd rather you still be... Vigilance. Pull up this guy. Or that guy. spread her missiles all over. Oh, you're going after Glitch. Nope, oh, nope. So we're trying to... We lost an arm, but... So that should block the other two. Location confirmed. Now again, we're looking to remove his evasion and destroy him, which worked. Great. Uh-oh. Uh, left side, so Decker's almost CT, which is... Very scary, so we're gonna just bring him out. Receiving you. So Decker, my mate. Oh that's confirmed. Okay. Probably should have angled him a little better, but Oh, nice. Reporting critical hit. Waiting for orders. So, this is the left arm. Here we go. So, we're 
still trying to make sure we don't take damage on the left arm. We're also trying to... Cannon, so we're going to oh let's maximize our chances it's hot but we're not gonna I don't understand how we've not blown off that torso yet Okay. Trebuchet. Wow. Heat sink destroyed, so we're going to want to replace that. Although we can replace it with a LRM ammo because we're running low on it. Alright, can we just focus, fire one of them, and blow them up? Thank you. Okay, don't CT him though. Let's see if we can knock him down. Oh, don't you dare, guard. Seriously? Hope you aim for the leg or the torso. Solid connection on that one. Good to go. Yeah, I think I'm gonna regret this one. Knocked on the leg. Roger. Waiting for orders. Roger. Really, what we're trying to do is take out the torso and incapacitate him, but proving harder. See, Camille is just gonna blow him up. Okay, pilot injured. Alright. Oh. Ow. That's not very nice. So we're gonna use our... Ready for order. Since I can get the angle and I can't get the angle with Emeth. Pilot incapacitated. So we got three salvage of a trebuchet. The prison is ours. Thanks for the assist, Lady Around I'll have Sumire bring us down for the victory celebration. There will be no celebrating, not after what I saw out there. Gods, Darius, the things the Directorate has done to these people. Kamea, I need you to meet me at the prison hospital right now. What is it? Better that you see for yourself, and Kamea, prepare yourself. This isn't going to be easy. Mission successful. Now we will run through the post debrief as well as the 
dialogue here, and then we will call it an episode. All right, 1.7 million. So we got beat up pretty bad. We lost a heat sink, an arm, took some internal damage. We almost lost. I mean, not almost, but 67 out of 70. We could have lost the Vindicator. Uh, that would have been real tough, as well as Decker with it. Um, this highlights that we need to run side missions and somehow gain some heavier mechs. See a trebuchet that can lob. I guess it has two missile pieces that can lob. Uh, LRMs might be very helpful in salvaging. So I think we're going to want one to two skull assassinate missions and just build those bigger mechs. I think we might have a cutscene coming up. By the time our forces found him, it was too late. I'm sorry, Kamenea. He was here all this time. Rashu. Kamea, I'm so sorry. I know how much Mastiff meant to you. He was a friend and mentor to us both. He was more than that. The old man was like a second father to me, and my uncle condemned him to waste away on this rock, to die wretched, and broken, in agony. A hero, study sh a hero story should end like this. Nobody should. And yet so many have. There's no coming back from what I witnessed here today. The scale of the Directorate's cruelty is unimaginable. What they've done to here is monstrous. It's inhuman. Our intel was wrong, Alexander. The icebox isn't a prison, it's a meat grinder. Gods, my own family is behind this. And what's left of mine has chosen to look the other way. It isn't an easy thing to wrap your head around. But try to remain focused. We've just liberated our directorate's hostages. With a single blow, you've shattered your uncle's hold on the founding houses. The prisoners you've set free are already calling you the Sword of Restoration. We need to spread this message all the way to Coromadir to galvanize your supporters and weaken Espinosa's popularity here. Or there. I like the sound of that. It won't be an easy process. For the last three years, those who ha love Hal Serrano have been keeping their heads down. We won't break them of that overnight. In truth, an, an appreciable percentage of Cormandir's population supports Director Espinoza. In centralizing power, the improved quality of life of the throne world, the improved quality of life in the throne world considerably, and people will forgive a great deal for security and comfort. With our victory and weldry. We've all seen what happened to those who would not be bought or indoctrinated. Those who refused to kneel before the tyrant. We know that what became of the people who were made to disappear, and soon enough the entire reach will know too. The moment is on our side, Kamea. We need to take advantage of it. You're right. This isn't the time for hand-wringing, but Alexander, you didn't see what I saw out there. On the other end of the battlefield, the war crews, all hunched and broken. The graveyards, great fields of unmarked burial plots that stretched as far as the eye could see. Every time I blink, I see it. The misery that was allowed to fester here. I was 
one bad Solaris fight away from bankruptcy before Master reached out to me. I could easily have wound up in a place like this. Yes, but that was the inner sphere. Before my uncle's coup, the Reach didn't have places like this. This prison is going to stay with these people for the rest of their lives. I'll do anything to spare them that hurt, but I can't. Word of advice from an old veteran, Lady Arano. Focus on something you can do. Give us an order. Tell us to blow something up. Shit, use your imagination. The key is, you do something and you move on. Thank you, Chief Veteran Vertanen. You have a good crew, Shadow Coast. I have a new assignment for you and a reward for your service. The algo appears in your view screen. She's in rough shape, but appears to be space-worthy. For decades, the wreck of the Argo was one of my father's most closely held secrets. When I sent you to retrieve her, I meant for her to serve a symbolic purpose, a sign of rebirth and renewal, emblazoned with the Arano Cormorant for all to see. I was naive. This is a time for action, not symbols. And so Shadow Coast have decided that she will be yours to command. The Argo will serve as your new home. She will fly your mercenary banner. Lord Madeira will join you and act as my liaison. In return, you will grow stronger, sharper, more flexible. You will hone your company to a razor's edge, one that I will hold to the Directorate's throat. Got yourself a navy. If it's settled, then please, Kamea, go back to the triage tent and get your wounds looked at. The conditions here are beyond unsanitary, and it'll be of no use to anyone if you're dying from some exotic infection. Our people contend to their, the wounded. We need you strong in the fight ahead. I will, Alexander, but not just yet. Assemble our people in the courtyard. There's something I need to say. People of the Oregon Reach, I am Kamea Arano, and I have failed you. For three long years, Director Espinosa has imprisoned and starved and murdered our people. And where was I? Hiding in a palace, light years away, building support, planning. While the Directorate's secret police turned neighbor against neighbor, made your loved ones disappear, conscripted your children. I wasn't here. I didn't know. The crimes that I have witnessed here today are unforgivable. No doubt, Director Espinosa believes that the ends justify the means, that the Oregon Reach has been made strong. Well, I say that strength built on fear is brittle. The Directorate is a paper tiger, and I declare this restoration today to rally the true strength of our people, our resilience, and our freedom. Let Weldry be a call to arms. Join us, and together we will liberate the Founding Houses and retake Cormadir. Not because it is my birthright, but because the Directorate's crimes against you, the Oregon people, will no longer be tolerated. That is what I fight for, and I vow to fight for your freedoms to my dying breath. And there you have it. We have gained the Argo, and Lady Orano has established. Have ship who will travel. All right, Doctor Farrar, Farrar Murad. Hello again, my mercenary friend. Before you officially take possession of the Argo, I wanted to introduce myself in person. We never really got a chance to properly meet on Axelis. So, uh, hi, I'm Doctor Farrar Murad, or just Farrar, for Farrar, if you prefer. It's nice to meet you. All face to face. Yeah, Doc, you too. I'm going to call you Doc, by the way. You should probably go ahead and get used to it. I was impressed, impressive work you did getting the Argo flying. Between you and me, I have my doubts. Honestly, I did too. You should have seen what the Argo's interior looked like after a couple hundred years of pirate occupation. Actually, I take that back. If you'd seen what I saw, you'd never have wanted to set foot here. Take it from me, the ship's been deloused from bow to stern, and every meter of her has been hosed down with industrial grade disinfectant. The ship is clean enough to eat off of, I swear it. 
Um, you sure this cargo is ready for action? Oh, absolutely. I mean, she's here, isn't she? All the way from Lyriton, with nary a decompression event in sight. Don't worry, Commander. I won't endanger my crewmates by putting them on an unsafe ship. I got professional standards to maintain. New crewmates? To lead you or not say, I'm coming with you. You'll need me if anything goes wrong with the ship. Not that I will, mind you, but you know, just in case. Oh, and Darius, I'm sorry about all that shouting back on Axlis. As it turns out, getting shot at by pirates puts me on edge. No hard feelings? Not at all. Keep it this beast flying and you can yell at me as much as you want. Hell, I'm used to it. Welcome to the family. You too, Lord Madeira. I never imagined we'd be working together, but I'm glad to have the opportunity. As am I, Mr. Oliveira. Over the years of your exile, Lady Arano told me a great deal about you and your company, all of it good. Even before the events of the coup, she knew about Markham's marauders, your assistance with her father's Fajalder, originally compelling Colony World. Um, you can read it if you like. Campaign did not go unnoticed. It was just a job, Lord Madeira. We only did what High Lord Tamara paid us to do. Still, it feels good to be appreciated. And know that someone out there still remembers Commander Markham's name. Welcome addition to the Argo. Thank you, Commander Co. Speaking of which, you'll have some time to break your new ship in before Lady Orano is ready to move on Panzer. She needs to consolidate our forces on Weldry and replace her losses with fresh volunteers. You remember her orders. You are to sharpen your company and grow strong. And now that you have a mobile command center worthy of a, of that of the title, I suggest you use it. I'll get you a fresh batch of contracts to look over, Jack. The whole railroad periphery is our oyster now. We won't be limited by debts or travel restrictions. Exciting times, I've got to say. Uh, yeah, we better put this read in good use. No, well, so let's quit talking. Go explore a new ship. There's absolutely enormous mech bay in there, and I got got my name written all over it. Damn right it does, Yang. You all heard him. Take your stations, everyone. We're free agents until Lady Arano calls for us, and there's money to be made. All right, the Argo is not in good shape, Commander, but with time, money, and some chief vertical technical resources, we can address most of the major problems. With these mech facilities, we'll finally bring me scrap mechs for missions and shops on rebound in the fighting machines. Alright, so we are going to do some housekeeping here and then we're going to call it an episode. Alright, so we can repair this one. This one. Repair, repair. Oh. Alright, repair all. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. We have to refit this. I think we want a medium laser. Now the question is... Do we take a heat sink out for LRM ammo? And I think the answer is yes, and now it's eight days, which is a lot, but... That's you know okay. That's and here... So... So now I think Great we're going to go up command. the tactician route. Yeah. Although one of us, either Glitch or Shadow Ghost, Great is going to need breaching shot. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with Glitch. Ready for orders. Alright, we will start specializing. Before we.
move out. We're going to upgrade the cheapest yeah, things in order to make it easier. And we'll take a look at contracts. Holy crap, there is absolutely no way that we are ready for that. Those are heavy mechs, they are going to tear us apart. What the heck? We might have screwed ourselves, guys. Two. Two. Pelifron solid, Detroit solid. So we're probably going to travel to Detroit and spend a lot of money to get there. Because we... I don't think we're going to be able to take on a f contract that's um, difficult. So here are the settings. Refer to episode 1. I do apologize that I cut this in half. Uh, this concludes this episode. Thanks for watching. Catch us in the next one. See you later.